Hey, you guys don't want to miss this. Today I'm going to review my favorite lightsaber of all time. The Luke Skywalker NeoPixel lightsaber. What version of Luke's saber is this? I'm going to quickly tell you guys what a better deal this is over the other retail sabers. And there's one feature that this Luke Skywalker lightsaber has that even the crazy expensive replicas don't have. So come goof off with me and let's talk lightsabers. Hey, welcome back Star Wars fans. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. This is Finding the Force where I cover everything Star Wars from autographed collectibles to sci-fi conventions, but especially lightsabers. Boom! And as always, I will be your host, Obi Dad Kenobi. Hello there. Hey, if you guys are new to the channel, don't be shy. Click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'd really appreciate the support. And while your fingers are moving, hitting the subscribe button, why don't you hit the like button? It's the button with the erect thumb on it. It uh, tells YouTube I make good content. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Disney Park, opening day, there I was. I had been thinking for months about which, <laughs> which one <laughs> lightsaber I was going to buy. And I couldn't make up my mind between the Luke Skywalker and the Skywalker Graflex. And the correct answer was this one. I wish this lightsaber was available to buy back then, because I probably wouldn't have bought any Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. It's just the truth, guys. I'm not going to lie. And this has very special magical features that you can't find on every Luke Saber. It's very rare to find these. We'll get to that in a minute. Hold your tauntauns, okay? Of course, I always have to thank Art Sabers. Thank you guys so much for sending me this. It's beautiful. It's just what I asked for. And I can't wait to show all my viewers this because this is the, in my opinion, best Luke Skywalker lightsaber for the price. Mark my words. I think I could make an entire video just talking about the history and all the appearances and different versions of Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. And this one here actually, I think, episode eight, the last Jedi version of Luke's excellent style of lightsaber. It's something about the thin necks. I'm telling you, you guys, if lightsabers were in a bar, this would be like the hot blonde with the red dress. You know what I'm saying? But before we take a look at that tight red dress, let's talk about the price and, uh, and everything that comes with this lightsaber. I cannot believe this lightsaber only costs $400 and some change, right? And it probably brings you under $400 if you use my discount code right here up above my head. I'd really appreciate the support and thank you guys to everyone who has used my links down in the description of my video and my discount code. I really appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. Thanks to you guys, I'm going to be going to Star Wars Night at Disneyland. So I'll be making a vlog video from that and all the fun we're going to have out there. I might be giving some stuff away. You know what I'm saying? So there's two versions of this on the Art Sabers website and I recommend the Profi version. It gives you crazy better like blade flicker and all sorts of awesome features packed with sound fonts. The, all your favorites that, you, uh, that you've that you seen on my video. There's an indoor speeder bike, there's Ultron, there's pod racers, and there's like a bunch of your main characters all packed onto this. This is Luke's lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge. And to buy this with a blade, it puts you over $200, like probably 220, 240, okay? And I know this display neck looks cool, but to put the blade in it, you gotta put on the choking seagull upper half. I just reviewed this, this is the Force FX. Luke Skywalker lightsaber. The retail, this is like 280 or almost close to $300 with the belt clip that drives me nuts. Okay, so we got the Force Effects, $280. No Neo Pixel, no Smooth Swing, no soundtracks, no Force Effects, and generic sounds. Galaxy's Edge, probably the coolest theme park souvenirs ever created, but from a more retail standpoint, has no blaster deflect, no lockup, no smooth swing, although it has unique sound effects and flash on clash, is lacking in the features department. So both of these other options, you're more than halfway to getting a NeoPixel. Crazy bright, crazy loud, smooth swing, packed with sound fonts, and it comes with everything you need. As you guys know from my videos, I'm talking a blade, 
charger, instructions, tool, and even a display stand so you could have it ready to display on your desk or shelf or at work. <laughs> work is a good idea. We need more fun at work. Everyone's gone home and you're, and you're geeking out in the hallways and stuff. So it's kind of a no-brainer, guys. I still enjoy Galaxy's Edge Sabers. They're fun, they have unique sounds, they're really easy to put the blade in. But it's true, guys, we've come a long way in the past few years, and now these awesome, super bright and loud NeoPixel Sabers are getting more and more affordable, which makes the other retail Sabers maybe not the best choice. So what do you guys say we take a close look at all the details of this pretty lady? By the way, guys, have you seen the Enzo rings? I used to have a Luke Skywalker Enzo ring that was green. I can't find it anywhere. And also, I get that. not Could you try again? Siri, she's always eavesdropping. And I also want to give a shout out to Moby Fox, Apple Watch wristbands. Boom, they totally hooked it up. Check this out. R2D2 on my band looks awesome and even came with some epic watch faces. Thank you guys at Moby Fox. Let's get a close up look at this beautiful Luke Skywalker lightsaber here. Starting with the pummel, we got the very unique uh, grenade kind of shape to the pommel. The cap is very well vented and it's super loud. I promise, can't wait to show you guys. Look, look what I love about this. It's not jingling. It's doing what it's supposed to. Thumbs up from Finding the Force. But we have the carved lower portion of the saber, which looks just like the replica, by the way. And the control box. So before I go any further, as you can tell, more of a darker, kind of a weathered theme to Luke's lightsaber. Especially you can see down here and, uh, and with the emitter cup there. And that's because I think this lightsaber is closer to the version that we see in The Last Jedi when Luke is kind of standing over Ben because he sees the dark side in him. So I just think that the darker overall color scheme looks awesome. It's a really cool change. Um, Art Sabers does have the other versions of Luke's hero saber. One is like super glossy and shined up and one is more of like a, you know, like a polished finish. So it wouldn't be a fingerprint magnet. They have a few choices. Put the link to this particular model down in the description. So just like in The Last Jedi, it has very strong rails right here. And the control box looks great. These buttons are not actually how you activate the saber. It's the red and green arrow. And unfortunately, the arrows do not light up. However, in the movie, we don't ever see the arrows light up on Luke's lightsaber. And I'm talking about Return of the Jedi. The only scene we see his arrows light up is in the cave, which was a deleted scene. But we all like blinking lights, but unfortunately, these do not blink. The grip feels fantastic. These are not sharp rings at all. They're idealized, or what they call even, I guess, in the saber world. And we got the thin neck and this kind of golden copper color to the upper neck before we get to the emitter cup. Now, here's the best part of the saber. Let me show you guys. Oh, you guys, I wish I had seen this saber years ago. Check this out. Off comes upper half of the cup well threaded for strength. And now we're going to put on the extended emitter for blade depth and stability. Oh yeah, now we're talking. And just so you guys know, you remove the pummel. There's basically a whole lower half of the chassis that just pops right out and disconnects. This just comes right out. There's a connector inside, you can see here. Very easy access to get to the battery and the profi board. The soundboard actually slides back and kind of pops up so you can access the SD card. I'm not sure if it's all the models where the belt clip is on the inside left inside of the Sabre, but put a black rubber band. It still gives you a really snug fit of the pummel cap, but it kind of allows you to put it at exactly where you would like the belt clip to be. And actually, I think this is perfect for comfort because if you're gonna wear this, on the left side of your hip where all the Jedi wear their lightsabers, the control box is facing forward. I think this is really the best location for it if you're gonna actually wear it for your cosplay. All right guys, it's time to put a blade in this bad boy and do a little bit of a demo. But thanks so much to this extended emitter, we've got like a solid inch of blade depth because a lot of these thin neck lightsabers come with like 
0.6 inches, 0.7 inches. And it's like the blades is holding on for dear life. Like I told you guys, my minimum, bare minimum for sabers is one inch. You gotta have at least one. I prefer inch and a half, but I'll take one. But it's super easy to take off the display emitter. Looks great. And now we're ready to fire her up. All right guys, so I'm not gonna lie, the Luke Skywalker sound font that came with the saber was not my favorite. So I did a really quick hack. You know what I did? I actually have two Kyberphonic Luke Skywalker sound fonts I put on this saber without cables or anything. All I did, I'll make an instructional video, but what I did was I took out the SD card, put it in the computer, and I took all the files from two green lightsaber blade sound fonts. I took off those files and I put on two from Kyberphonic. And this one is called The Return. V2, I think. All right, you guys ready? Let's check out gesture controls. Boom! Oh, you guys, I, the only thing I love more than Luke's lightsaber is the sound of his lightsaber. Hopefully you guys can hear that. You can adjust the volume with the saber in your hand. It's super easy. Yes. Blaster. Yes, lock up. Can you guys see the green color on my camera? Let's see, where is it? Man, this, this saber's just so bright, it's out of control. Yes. Tip drag. Let's do some force effects. Oh man, sounds awesome you guys, I love it. This sounds really clear. And this is my personal favorite Luke Skywalker lightsaber sound font. And it happens to be from Kyberphonic, who this is no way sponsored at all. I've complimented him before, he knows it. And uh, this is the Grumpy Uncle, but version of one, actually. I love, you'll hear the fluctuating kind of accordion metal sounds. Go away. I don't like the Grumpy, <laughs> the Grumpy taglines, but I love the sound font. There you go. Sounds so cool, just like his lightsaber, you guys. Oh, sounds so awesome though, guys. Soundtracks, yes! I love geeking out with soundtracks. Hey guys, don't leave this video without commenting down below uh, what you guys think of the Luke Skywalker lightsaber from Art Sabers with the extended emitter attachment. As always guys, take care, be safe out there, and have an awesome Star Wars day.